Welcome back. They call themselves wedding cinematographers, but this husband and wife duo have angry brides on their tails. Now the law's finally caught up with Katie and Andrew. If you have a heart at all, please give us give us our video and our and our photos. They spent thousands and have nothing to show for it. After their so-called wedding cinematographers did a runner and took their footage with them. It's it's unscrupulous and quite frankly, it's disgraceful behaviour. The couple's lucky enough to get something, got wobble cam. I honestly have no idea how they even sleep at night. I did a lot of do-it-yourself, you know, got the second-hand wedding dress um, from Gumtree um, and sacrificed on getting a brand new one. Um, and for the photography and video, um, we spent 2800 Amelia hired Katie and Andrew Clerk of Switch Multimedia to photograph and video her wedding. Three years on, she hasn't received a single frame. All she has are a couple iPhone photos. If this story sounds familiar, it's because you've heard it before. And it's just a constant battle of no communication. We don't get any response from them. In 2018, a current affair raised the alarm, a warning for brides and grooms across the country. I just went into panic mode and messaged Katie directly and she said, oh no, don't, don't stress, they're taking it out of proportion and I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Following our original story, New South Wales Fair Trading undertook an investigation into switch multimedia, resulting in a total of 33 charges under the Australian consumer law. Katie and Andrew Clerk have been ordered to pay $110,000 in compensation, costs and fines. So Fair Trading worked with that business in the first instance to try to get some of those images back. Uh, but they uh, proved very hard to get, so Fair Trading then took it up a notch and uh, took uh, uh, civil action against them and prosecuted them. Kevin Anderson, Minister for Better Regulation and Innovation, has this message. If it doesn't stack up, then, then don't sign them up. It's as simple as that. Do you remember this email? This Unfortunately, email? it's too late for Mark and Nicole, yeah. who paid $1,750 for this wobble cam. And it arrived two years late. And I noticed this clip goes for a couple of minutes, but there are some that just go for two seconds, yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. What yeah. are you meant to do with that? Yeah. <laughs> no <Nothing>. idea. <laughs> now the couple want their cash back. $2,000 would come in handy for a small family like us. I was shocked. Christy's wedding exactly. took place after our original story went to air. Like we came up with a little deal that I would just pay 50% of what was left owing. Um, and then I would pay the rest of my money once I received my film. Like they gave me the snippet, so I paid the rest of my money and then nothing, nothing after that. How much money are you owed? Um, so $2,800. Back in 2018, we caught up with Katie and Andrew on the hunt for answers. This is not something that we've done on purpose. This is not something that we've set out to do. We're not trying to hide from anybody. Kate, you say you're not trying to hide from anybody, but I'm talking to a door. I don't think that it's right that you just turn up to here to do this. We think it's not right for you to turn up to somebody's wedding, take thousands of dollars and not deliver a product. It's the sentimentality that makes these crimes all the more devastating. Walk towards me, beautiful. We arranged for Ariana of Ariana Photography Studio to give Amelia the wedding photos she deserves. What price can you really put on being able to relive memories from the most important day of your life? For you guys to be able to do this for us, I just have no words. Thank you. Any couples who believe they've been caught out by Katie and Andrew should call Fair Trading.